Welcome to Hostgal, my name is Jacques and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Joomla manually. So I assume you've logged into your control panel and the first thing we need to do is we need to install a MySQL database. Then we'll have to go and download the Joomla software. We're going to upload it to the server. We're going to unzip it and then we're going to go to the URL to start the installation first of all we're going to go and create a MySQL database so scroll down to MySQL databases and we're going to give the database a name we're going to call it DB1 for this example you can call it anything all right it's said that it just added the database for us you can scroll down and now we need to create a user for that specific database, we're just going to call it support and we're going to give it a password or password for now. I would advise you to use the generate password uh, generator over here and you can put the password length in as 9, you can untick symbols and regenerate it and use password. Right, that that is the way you need to do that. But for now, we're just going to call it password here, and we're going to say create the user. Well, it just created the user for us with the password or password. Now, once you've created a user, you need to assign the specific user to this database. So you will see over here that we've created one user. If you create more users, it will just show up here underneath the support user. If you create more databases, we are limited to one database on this account, so we can't create more, but should you need to, you can create more and it will show underneath here. So now we're going to assign this user rights or privileges to make use of database one of DB1 that we just created. So we just click on add and we give the support user all privileges to use db1 and we're going to make the changes right now it just tells us that the support user was added to the database db1 let me go back right you will see over here that this user was successfully added to db1 now the next thing we need to do is we need to go and just go click on home and next thing you need to do is download the Joomla software. So we go to Joomla.org and we click on download. To bring up a screen, we'd like to download the full package and we just click on the zip file. I've already done that and it's located on my desktop. So let's go back to the C panel. Alright, and then we're going to scroll down to file manager and we say yes we'd like to go to the web route and we say go now it will bring up the public underscore html folder which is the root of your domain and this is where we'd like to install joomla so when the end user type in your domain your joomla site will appear so then once you're in the public underscore HTML then you click on upload click on browse and you can go and select the downloadable and it will automatically start the upload process so you don't even need a FTP pro program because you can do it within the cPanel by going to file manager and upload the zip file. I'm going to pause the video until this is done I'll come back. Right I've successfully uploaded the zip file which we've downloaded from the Joomla website so we can close the screen and we can go back to our root folder which is public underscore HTML and we click on reload and you will see that we've uploaded the zip file we select the file we click on extract we say yes we'd like to extract it in the root 
So we click on Extract Files. Alright, it actually extracted the files for us, and you will see that all the files are in the root now in the public underscore HTML. That's where we'd like it to be. Right, so now we can go to our domain name and we can just click on enter and it will automatically start the installation process for us so we click on next and we click on next and we agree to the terms and the host name will always be local host in the cpanel and the username in this scenario was web host underscore support we gave it a password called password and the database name was web host the underscore db1 <coughs> these details you can just confirm by going back to your cpanel mysql databases and you will see that that's the database name and that was the username right so you can go leave the table prefix standard on JOS underscore right you click on next you can set up your FTP details this will normally be the same username or password that you use to log into your cPanel so if you like to set that up you can do that and we click on next give the site a name web hosting server and your email and then your admin password let's call it password password and we like to install the sample data said it successfully installed that for us and we click on next and now it's asking us to re to actually remove the installation folder or we can just rename it so let's go back to our root folder within the file manager we click on installation we click on rename and I'm just going to put three underscores next to the installation we'll see it renamed it so Joomla won't see that it's there or you can just click on that and go ahead and delete this folder right so now it's now we've actually done this and we can click on site and you will see that our Joomla site is successfully installed right and you can also log into the back office by going to your domain forward slash administrator enter and you will see that we can make use of the admin user which was called admin and password to access the back office right this covers the manual way to install Joomla and we'll be bringing out more tutorials soon and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching my name is Jacques and I'll see you soon bye